Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So this morning I was out in the garden and as you'll see I had a huge pick of zucchini and yellow squash. And I have not yet gone back out there to do the green beans and the tomatoes, but um, I've got a huge batch of plums to tend to first and then I'll go out. But I wanted to share with you what I made with some of the zucchini um, just to give you another idea because when we get all the zucchini in the summertime it's crazy on trying to think up new ideas and what to do with it. So I also uh, ran it through the food processor and grated it for some more grated zucchini. I go through it pretty quickly and you can rehydrate it and make this recipe. You can rehydrate it and make zucchini bread in the winter time. Um, you can use it in a meal in a jar idea. So I don't want to waste any of it. So we're going to use all of it. And this is just one of the recipes I have in my repertoire uh, for using up some zucchini. And I hope you like it. It's zucchini fritters and it's done my way. I just made it up as I went along and it absolutely was delicious. I could have ate four of them. So it gave me a great idea as well. I'm going to make up the dry good or the dry batter and um, the wet mixture up and take it to work and make these for the girls at work because I, I'm telling you these were just light and delightful. So anyway, I hope this brings you along for the ride and I hope at the end of the video if you really like this you give me a thumbs up and go check out my Facebook page and like that page as well. If you've got any videos that are similar go ahead and uh, put it as a video response. I'd love to share it with everyone. All right guys, come on let's go do it. Okay guys, I'm glad you stayed along for this. Um, as you can see by the pictures and by what's on my counter, this is this morning's pick out of the garden. And I have to bring you over here. <laughs> I walked out there and I went, oh my goodness. And there's actually one more yellow squash out there. I wish that the crook neck produced like the zucchini. I have just been bombarded with zucchini all summer and I, I'm not complaining because I love both of these vegetables but if if I had to say my you know which one was my favorite my favorite is the yellow squash and so I'm going to make um, in another video I'm going to make a uh, squash casserole for you that um, it was very fun as the kids were little I could you know get them to eat this uh, without them knowing what it was anyway so what I'm going to do today, obviously, is I've got to get through some of this zucchini. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to grate a bunch of it, but I'm also going to make a dish for you because it's just a good idea of what you could do with the grated zucchini even after you have dehydrated it. You can rehydrate it and make this dish. So I want to make this dish for you. I'm going to save a couple long ones to... Um, Maybe I'll save that one. That's a nice tender one. Um, to do another dish as well. I'll be doing a lot of zucchini dishes for you guys. It's the zucchini series. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up so I can get it in the um, processor. And this one has not, it's just kind of started to get that center soft spot so you can leave that in or you can take it out if I feel like it's too spongy I take it out if I uh, this one I don't think I care <laughs> so we're gonna put some of these in the food processor here and it goes so fast it's like nothing to process uh -oh. are we plugged in and locked down tight oh my thing isn't locked down and it might be, these might be too tall. <laughs> okay, hold on. Sorry. Do over. I didn't realize that top thing had to be locked down. Hopefully this will work. Nope, still too tall. Okay, what about this one? Okay. That's how fast it really is. It goes pretty fast. So we'll get the size we need. I'm just going to chop them now. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to make zucchini fritters. And I'm going to do it on the light side because you guys know from uh, a couple of my other videos, I'm trying to watch my calories and watch, uh, you know, what I'm doing as far as overindulging. And um, if I'm going to make something that I really love, I'm going to try to scale it down a bit. So, that being said, let me get this zucchini all done. and easy that is. Before you know it, you've got a chopper full of shredded zucchini. And it dehydrates really well. It rehydrates amazing um, for soups, stews, this recipe, meals in a jar, you name it. This, um, I, I go through it pretty quickly. You'd be surprised how quickly th this zucchini can go away. Try to get vegetables into every meal. Okay, so now that we have that full, and that wasn't even one zucchini, I'm not gonna bore you with doing the whole lot of them, but I am going to put these scraps there. The chickens and the rabbits will be happy, and so will my compost pile. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna make my fritters. And so what I've got, I want them to have some protein in them. So I'm gonna take two of my fresh eggs. And we're gonna beat those up. And this is not a standard recipe. I'm not gonna post the ingredients list. You guys can watch and write, write it down as I go, cause I'm making it up as I go. So, um, Okay, and I like I think I like things on the uh, herbaceous side, especially you know in the morning. And I'm having this. This is going to be part of my breakfast. So this will make enough for uh, quite a few people. So so you're going to get your egg all beat up, and you could kill this recipe down if there's just one or two of you. Uh, or one person, do one egg. Um, I'm gonna make these up and actually I'm gonna share them. So I've got some pink salt, love that pink salt. It's full of minerals that we need. And I like lots of fresh cracked black pepper. <clears throat> now I'm going to need a little bit of a batter um, to hold this all together, right? Uh, so I've got some whole wheat flour. We're going to keep it healthy. Um, now those of you that are gluten intolerant, you could do a rice flour or something like that or leave the flour out completely. Okay, I've got about a half a teaspoon of herbs de Provence. And for those of you that do not know what's in this, it's a mixture of thyme, fennel, basil, savory, and lavender. Um, it's just a great mix. About a half a teaspoon of, maybe not even that, about a, an, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder to give it some lift. And I like garlic, so I'm gonna do a full teaspoon of my homemade garlic powder. So that's the kind of girl I am. And you could grate up carrots and onions. I'm just doing this really quick for you, so. And a little bit of whole wheat flour, not much, maybe, mm, maybe a quarter of a cup of whole wheat flour, okay? A picture there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and mix that batter up before I put my zucchini in. And the zucchini's gonna lend some moisture, so it's also gonna Hydrate that flour and the herbs and everything as well. So now you've got your mixture there. And I'm going to get some of this zucchini out. And you could squeeze out all the moisture 
I really don't care if there's moisture in there at all. I don't mind that one bit. A couple, you know, about a cup, cup and a half. I want this a nice, thick, full of veg kind of a batter. Look at that. That oh, would be so pretty with carrots in here. And maybe some red bell pepper if you wanted. You don't have to limit it to just zucchini. So now we've got about, looks like about two cups of zucchini. So about a cup of zucchini per egg and the eighth of a cup of flour. We'll see if this recipe comes out. And if it does, you can actually, I'm going to need a little bit more zucchini. Because you can see the zucchini is actually letting go of some of its moisture while it's doing its thing here. There you go. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to get my cast iron skillet heated up. I'm just going to spray it with a little nonstick spray. We're not going to get crazy with a bunch of oil or anything because I'm trying to stay on the light side. And I'll take you over and we'll get these cooking. Okay, so I'm bringing you back because I kind of took a little sneak taste just to see what the batter tasted like to me. And I felt it was a little bit on the bland side. So I'm going to kick it up a notch with a uh, diced up serrano pepper because they were full of flavor. And I like lemon and zucchini, so I'm going to add some lemon pepper. That always adds a little brightness to it. And since we're going bright, we're going with a lemon. Let me wash this. Then I'm just going to grade down some of the zest, okay? It'll go with the herbs really well. You only want the yellow part, no white pith. That'll make it bitter. And you don't need a whole lot for this, but. I just wanna brighten this up and have a lot of flavor in it. Okay, so I'm gonna save that lemon for something else. Ooh, now it's starting to look and smell amazing. So my skillet's heated up. We're gonna go over to the stove and I'll get this on. Okay. All right, you guys, now we're over here getting ready to put this on. I've got my bowl here. I'm gonna set that down. I'm just gonna get a nice spoonful. Um, you can make these as small or as big as you like. And you wanna set them down and don't, don't touch them. Let them do their thing and cook. And you want to keep this on a, just a medium heat, really. And I just kind of press them down into an even thickness is all I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for anything else. I'm going to add some fresh cracked black because I love black pepper. And you could, again, hit it with some lemon pepper if you wanted. But I'm doing that. Don't those look beautiful? Hmm. I'm excited. Can't wait to share these with you. And it's gonna be a great breakfast. I get some whole grain in there with the whole wheat. Like I said, you could use something that was gluten-free. Um, getting the protein from the fresh eggs and the vegetable. I'm just, I'm excited. And you could make these just beautiful with carrots and red bell peppers and load them with vegetables. And the more vegetable to me, the better. <clears throat> it's hard to get enough vegetables in in a day, but if you're on a healthy diet, you should be getting a lot. <laughs> so, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, we're just going to let this go ahead and cook a little bit. I'll bring you back when I'm flipping them over or after I've flipped them. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's time to flip. Looks amazing. Smells really good. Whoops. It's almost like, it reminds me of a potato pancake. You can do that with potatoes as well. So that would be another option. If you have the gluten intolerance, I don't think that potatoes have it. You could do it with mashed potatoes instead of making a batter. So there's lots of options here, you guys. I know I have a lot of people that struggle with trying to integrate their diets a little bit differently and, and make it happen for their health. And so this is just one option. So as you can see, these browned really nicely and with very little um, 
oil, just a little nonstick spray. Um, cast iron obviously is the first nonstick cookware. So um, you could use nonstick if you like and make it really easy, but uh, trying to make this on the light side. And you can see these kind of puffed up because of the baking powder. So I'm going to let these finish cooking and we're going to take you over to uh, serve it up. Okay guys, here we are. And I've got these down on the plate. I also have a, this is a sun-dried tomato with basil. It's all chopped up real fine. And I thought, oh, that'd be good. And that'll keep me from putting <laughs> mozzarella cheese and all that down on here. Because normally I would serve these with some cheese on top. But look how light and fluffy that is. Oh my gosh. It's truly just a cloud. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh, they are delicious. Okay, I'm writing that recipe. Um, these are light. They're absolutely delicious. And what really stands out for me is the, um, the Herbs de Provence. It's just a perfect blend with this. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Mmm. Yum. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am not, I'm not at all unhappy that I'm on a diet. <laughs> this is going to be a great breakfast. All right, you guys. Mm. One more. Yum. So I hope this inspires you to, uh, I don't know, think outside the box. I mean, there's lots of recipes like this out there, but this was something that um, just got my creative juices flowing this morning when I saw those zucchini in the garden. And uh, I've got enough work to do here for a little while to get all this grated up and on the dehydrator. But anyways, I hope it inspires you, gives you some ideas to use up your uh, glut of zucchini and maybe save some away for a uh, winter breakfast. This would be delicious this winter. Um, so if you like this, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook page. And go on over to my Facebook page. I've got it posted, uh, a link in the description box below. Go over there and like that page so you can be updated on any videos you might miss. And, uh, and I also post videos of other people, stuff that I like as well. So you might, you know, catch somebody new to watch. All right, guys. Thanks again. God bless.